What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here in Frankfurt. The game is just finished. It's a ball draw, nil-nil. And you know what? I think that both teams were pretty poor today. Let's be yeah. honest. It was a poor game of football. But I do think that we were slightly better than, the, than Frankfurt. I don't think Frankfurt really troubled us too much. We look much. more likely to score. Yeah. Uh, I think that like, no team's really had a real good chance on goal today. But I think that with the, when you come to a game like this against Frankfurt in their stadium, with the way the group has built up, I think the draw is a good result. I really do. And I, I know a lot of people are getting frustrated with the way we've played and the way the game has gone. But when you look at the bigger picture, when you look at the game, how it's gone, I think the draw is a good result. I think, I think when you look at this game, it's finished nil nil. I think there's two ways of looking at it. I think way number one, in terms of like a negative way, we carry on our full run of form away from home. We still, I don't know if we tested the keeper at all today. I don't know how many shots on target we had. But I would hazard a guess it wasn't many shots on target today. No, it wasn't. Um, I would hazard a guess that um, we still didn't score a goal. It didn't really threaten their goal. Albeit, they didn't threaten our goal too much. But again, it wasn't a, a very convincing performance away from home. Off the back of five, um, one win, five games away from home. It's now one win in six games away from home. And, and we're looking at today's performance. It wasn't the most encouraging performance you can envisage. However, there is another way of looking at it, and the glass half full way of looking at it, is that we've got a credible draw away from home. We've got a clean sheet off the back of a North London Derby defeat. We're still second place in the group. And the fact is, if we win our home games, we qualify from the group. So from that point of view, it was a positive point. But from the other point of view, it's like we wanted to show a bit more after losing the North London Derby. We didn't quite do that today. We got the draw nil-nil. But it wasn't like a, a very encouraging force where we were creating loads of chances. Yeah, but you know, and people, Trapp, had, Trapp didn't have too much to do. I get that, but look, people underestimate how hard it is coming to a stadium like this. Yeah. With an atmosphere like this yeah. as well, you know? They won the Europa League last year, you know what I mean? This this lot literally They're won. a good team. They won a European They beat only in Berlin on the weekend, they're on good form. Yeah, but we made them look poor today because they were poor today. We look, look, at the end of the day, we were the better team. And if anyone was going to score, it did look like it was going to be Tottenham. So from that point of view, it's definitely positive. But if you're going to be like a half glass, half empty kind of guy, at the end of the day, how many times There's did no we... point for that. I know, but I'm just saying, at the end of the day, how many times should we test Kevin Trapp? Not no, many not times. Many, not many. How many times should we really like scoring? But you know what it is? It's, it's the same old story, how it breaks down in the final third every time. It was our passing in the final third that I did us once again, like it did against Arsenal. And is it a case of Ponte's tactics being safety first? Is that going to breed a culture that we're regularly going to win games? Or is it going to breed a culture of elite and as long as we don't lose, that's positive. Now, at the end of the day, we've got the draw. We're second in the group, four points out of a possible nine. If we win our home games, we still, we still have a, we still qualify. So at the end of the day, when, it look, when you're looking at the Champions League group as a whole, it's a positive point. But when you're looking at our away performances as a whole, when you're looking at how Tottenham are playing, you, is there a right to be concerned? Maybe you probably do have a right, do have a right to be concerned. It's a good side. It's a good side. It's a good side, Frankfurt. You know, the warm team in the Bundesliga, the atmosphere like this, it's a good side. And I get the whole narrative, the way it's going right now, but we've had hard away games so far this season. We've really had Arsenal, Chelsea, West Ham, Frankfurt. So, off the back of not really hurting Lisbon that badly, the fact that we've gone to Frankfurt and again, we have put in a performance where we've looked solid. It's, well, let's be honest, it's very similar to the Lisbon performance. The only difference between this performance and the Lisbon concede. performance is that Lisbon scored in the last minute. On this performance, we didn't concede in the last minute. That's literally the only difference. No, I, so, think, I think we were a bit better today than we were against Lisbon. I, really I think do. it was very similar. Look, maybe you can argue a bit better, a bit, a bit better against Lisbon, but at the end of the day, how many times did we threaten the keeper against Lisbon then today? Not many. How many times did you threaten the keeper today? Not many. So, at the end of the day, like, Away from home, we're still struggling. I don't think anyone can mask that fact. But we have had very hard away games. No, have. no, I completely agree. But at the end of the day, performances away from home, we're not testing the keeper enough. That's completely true. However, yes. however, we're still second in the group. We're still third in the league with 17 points. So I don't think you'd be too critical about our overall performance and overall results. Because at the end of the day, it's positive. And, and look, we're still second in the league. So right now, if the league ended now, we're qualifying. We've got two home games to go. We've got Frankfurt home next. 
then we've got Lisbon at home and then, and then Marseille, Marseille away. Yeah. So, look, the ball is in our court. We're still very positive. If we don't beat Frankfurt at home, if we don't get a win in the next win, one in the next two home games, then serious questions have to be asked. However, the ball's in our court. We've got the home games to win. We've got the home games to play. So I don't think it will be too hypercritical. But you have to be concerned about the level of chances we're creating away from home. And then try, the fact of our is, we didn't, we didn't concede too many chances today. I think we defended very well. But the amount of chances we're creating has to be at a higher level. And yes, given the fact we've created better chances than Frank we created today, but I think overall the narrative of our waveform, six games, one win, it was first away. And the fact of the matter is, we haven't been too good away from home, so it has to be addressed. But, the, but we got the draw, so it's not the end of the world. We're still in the favourites to be um, qualifying for the, for the next phase. And you've got to take the positives and hopefully we win the home games. I know we're not going to have a break because of uh, World Cup and it's going to be very, um, the schedule is going to be compact, very intense, yeah. compact. But the, the, we're still, we're still favourites to win the game. So at the end of the day, if you're looking at the point, is it more positive than negative? It's more positive. I think it's more positive. We're still second. So it has to but be But that's what I keep saying consistently. That's what I keep saying, right? A draw, coming here to get a draw, no matter of the performance, no matter about everything, all the nitty gritty, the fact that no matter if a draw here in terms of the group is a good point. It's yeah. a good point. Oh, that's a fact of the matter. It's never easy away in Europe to go and get anything. And we've seen that firsthand, yeah. you know, over the it's past two years. It's never easy. Is there, in, in Our last win in, the, in, in Europe was Wolfsburg. Exactly. 2021. So you can't take a nil-nil for granted. And then a clean sheet as well. So you've got you to give credit where credit should be. You've got a clean sheet. It's not an easy place to go. They just won against the Bundesliga leaders on the weekend. So they look, they're in good form. They're, up, they're on the high. And we, come, we came here and we frustrated them. We got the point. We, if anyone was going to score, it looked like it was going to be Spurs, so that's positive. Well, However, there are things to improve, and we've got, we got to acknowledge let's, let's, that... Let's break it down. The fact of the matter is, we're concerned about the away performances right now. Yeah. But this, isolated as a result, is a good result in terms of the league, Yeah. in terms of the Champions and League and the And on the flip side, our, four, our home form has been really good. So, we've got two home games out, three to come. We need to beat them next week to make this um, a, a proper good result. If we don't if win we next week... If we beat them next week, it's yeah. a good result. If we don't beat them, it's a poor result. Exactly. That's so, it. our home form has been really good. We've won, what, five out of five in all competitions at home. So, you've got to say that you back us to win at home. And if we do win at home, then this is a very good point. If we don't win at home, then you've got to be a bit concerned. But when people are concerned about our performances, primarily it is away from home. And again, you could point to this example and say, did we did we test trap enough? Did we create enough chances? I think there's validity in that. However, on the flip side, it's never easy to go away from home in Europe. We've seen and that. we got a clean sheet, we got a nil-nil, and we're still second in the group. So it's not like we're in a position where we're playing catch up. We're still in the ascendancy. So all we have to do is win our home games and then we're good. So I mean, look, you can look at it two ways. I'm going to try and look at it a class you know what? Ball, you know what people are looking at? People are looking at the performance. And the performance wasn't good enough today. And it hasn't been good enough all season, to be fair. Um, but I'm just waiting for that moment that we click. And I think it will happen. But in terms of the group stage, instead of the Champions League, I think we're in a good spot right now. We're in second. We've I think got it's, two just, home it's home games kind of like up. a will see kind of position. In, no, I think we, we, got, we got two home games coming up. And you expect us to win those games. 100%. But I'm saying in terms of we have to win if we don't win those games and we're in trouble yeah. so it's a kind of, in terms of where we are in the group and where this draw leaves us it's a kind of like as you were we'll see kind of position we're level on points with whoever was third which i believe was um frankfurt so i believe uh, we're, we're 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 above them but only on gold on our own goal difference right now so right now it's a uh, just wait and see we have to win next week obviously with people injured it's going to be difficult but we're at home we'll do it we're going to have the intensity we'll so i'm confident we'll get the win i think so, to play like this in this stadium i know we weren't great today but i thought we were a better team today so at home we're definitely going to be the yeah we were team. the better team everyone's going to score it looked like it was going to be tom especially in the second half we were the one on top we were the one we were the one creating the openings let alone chances so here's what it is we've got the nil nil we've got the draw let's hope we go next week and win that's what's going to make the difference at the moment, it's wait and see kind of thing. We, we wasn't terrible. We kind of got, we got, we won. We didn't, we didn't let the North London derby affect us in that sense. And then we didn't like let our heads drop and get the defeat. We got a clean sheet. 
people will say, we, look, we, we restricted them to nothing today. Yeah. They restricted us to nothing today. People, we, just, there will be people who will be down on this result. Look, there will look, be. Away in Europe, we've seen our we've seen our record there in the past however many years. Let's take the point now. Let's take them back to the lane. Let's beat them at the lane next week. And Let's then beat Lisbon as well. Let's beat Lisbon the week after. And that's it. And then we that's qualify we from the do. group. So exactly. I think that you've got to look at the positives from this result. Never mind the performance. I know the performance wasn't great, but you've got to take the positives from the result. And we'll see you in the next round because we'll hopefully we win at home because we've yeah. been very good at home. Exactly. And five wins out of five, that means we are the favourites to qualify. We're still second even now. So at that point of view, I said before the game a draw was a good result, by and large, but whatever happened to the other in the other game. Yeah, I said before the a game. Draw a draw was a good, good result. result. Yeah. So obviously we want to win because we believe we're a better team than Frankfurt. But at the end of the we day, are. a draw uh, is better to draw than lose. Like a draw is a de is definitely more positive than negative. So yes, still lacking in away performances and creating chances, but what Conte's produced is a very is a team very hard to beat, very hard to play against. That showed again today. We got the nil-nil. We got the clean sheet. If anyone was going to score, it was going to be Tottenham. So people will poo this this result performance, but we got we got the, we got the result. So we go to next week. We have to win. A lot of pressure is on our home games. No doubt about it. Conte has to win those home games. But I back him to do it with five wins out of five. So we got some games to come. In terms of how we are in the group and overall, it's a will see. It's not like we've done anything today. We haven't completed anything. We just have to get the result next week and get the win. Or even a draw, even potentially a draw is not no, terrible. We have, to we have to win. If we do win next week, then, then it's a very good result tonight. So, nil-nil. I'm not going to be too down hard about it. I'm just a bit disappointed at the fact that we didn't create more chances. That's by the by. Away in Europe is never easy. We got the nil-nil. We're still second in the group. Let's see how we do next week. All right. So, there you have it. We move on, we march on to our next Champions League group game against Frankfurt next week at Brighton home. But weekend, before yeah. that, we got Brighton on the weekend away from home. So we need to really step up our away performances if we are going to beat Brighton because they just got a really credible 3-3 draw at Anfield. But look, we go, we move on. We'll see we you all very soon. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come, come on you Spurs. Spurs.